What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the brilliant Dokkan mathematicians over at the Dokkan subreddit have released an updated list of the top 10 or really top 15 hardest hitting TURs in the game right now as of April 19th, 2021. Now just to be clear, I had nothing to do with this list. I had no input into the calculations for each unit. That credit goes to Reddit users Kariru2, Trash Guy Bob, and Kamino Segi. So a huge shout out to those three. We appreciate the hard work as always. And uh, oh, one quick disclaimer I wanna put out there before we get started is that obviously these guys have their own methods of doing their calculations and determining the average attack for each unit to rank them accordingly. So if you're also a Dokkan mathematician out there with your own calculations and your own methods, then of course your list or your ranking might be a little bit different from what you see here. So definitely keep that in mind. But uh, for the most part, over the past couple of years, I've really enjoyed these lists that these guys put out a couple times a year. I always find them to be super interesting. And you can tell that they put a lot of time, effort, and thought into them. So that's why every single time a new one comes out, I wanna make sure to share them with you guys on this channel. So yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with the five honorable mentions. That's number 15 to 11 of the hardest hitting TURs. And at number 15, we have the Fizz Transforming Launch. At number 14, we have the Extreme Z Awakened into Super Gogeta. Number 13 is Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, obviously with the Extreme Z Awakening 2. Number 12 is AGL Trunks and Mai. And number 11 is the Extreme Z Awakened Super Saiyan Kid Goten. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit surprised by the, you know, top 15 here. I mean, I expected a few of them. I knew that launch was still up there in terms of damage output with all those additionals. I knew that Gogeta was a beast and uh, Trunks and Mai with the active skill have, you know, some crazy damage output potential, but I did not realize just how hard the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Super Saiyan kids hit, man. Like, I knew they were monsters, I knew they did a lot of damage, and also had some really good defense, but I didn't know they were top 15. So that's a very nice surprise considering Global's about to get them soon with the I mean, not like super soon maybe, but within the next few months, right? With the Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten. So I'm definitely much more excited for them now after seeing them on this list. And there are your five honorable mentions, number 15 to 11 of the hardest hitting TURs in the game. And from there, we're gonna get into the main list now, you know, number 10 to one. And the number 10 spot has already been spoiled for you guys because you can see it at the bottom of the screen. We have the STR Transforming Bojack. Now there is a lot of information on this page so I'm gonna quickly remove my face so I don't cover anything. And there you go guys, number 10 is Bojack. And as far as the you know factors that went into his calculations, his optimal team or the team that outputs the most damage per turn is Warriors of Legends slash Siblings Bond, 150% uh, attack and defense, these are the units, and he gets average support of attack and defense plus 30%, 40% attack on the super attack multiplier, and 5.55% attack and defense from active, and these links have 100% uptime on this rotation, Thirst for Conquest, the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Big Red Bosses, Revival, and Fierce Battle, and the hidden potential skill distribution is 17 crit and 9 additional. And once all these things are taken into account, he has a supported attack return of 8,038,106 and a supported defense of 299,144. Oh, I forgot these. Uh, additional notes, 9% uptime facing 2 enemies, 2% uptime facing 3 enemies, 32.94% transformation uptime and 90% uptime on three orbs and 60% uptime on six orbs because of course he does get more attack at three and six orbs. So yeah, there you go, your number 10 SDR transforming Bojack. Anybody that was disrespecting this man needs to stop because he is actually really, really good. So from there, moving on, we have number nine, which is... 
the unit that this guy gets compared to a lot, the SDR Transforming Cooler. Okay, so for his calculations, his optimal team was Space Traveling Warriors, these were the units. Average support of 34% attack and 20.67% defense. Uh, we have 100% uptime on Thirst for Conquest, Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, Fierce Battle, and 33.33% uptime. On Brutal Beatdown, in terms of the hidden potential, we had 15 additional 11 crit, and there's 9% uptime facing 2 or more enemies, 52% uptime facing Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans, and 28.17% transformation uptime. And he has a supported attack per turn of 8,226,154, which is roughly 200,000 more than the STR Bojack. And his supported defense is 174,310. So of course the Bojack is gonna be, you know, typically much more tanky than the uh, cooler. So that is number nine. Now, moving on to number eight, we have Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. His optimal team is Prodigious Warrior slash Kamehameha, and there's no support factored here. Links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha Fuse Fighter, Orvin of Flash, and Fierce Battle with 100% uptime, and 15 additional 6 crit in the hidden potential system. Uh, rotates between slot 1 and 2, and 2%. Uh, active skill uptime, 100% uptime on full passive, average of 0.1035 counter, that's so specific, counters before, and uh, 0.10575 after attacking, and 130,762 average defense before attacking, and supported defense of 206,662, and supported attack per turn of 8,736,375. And 75, about a 500,000 increase over the STR transforming cooler. We have in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta at number 8. Now, number 7 is a recent Extreme Z Awakening for the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Um, his optimal team is Youth with a Goten and Trunks lead. And we have average support of 18% attack and defense, and attack and 30% attack. On the super attack multiplier, his hidden potential is 20 additional 6 crit and uh, 4 links for with 100% uptime, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Budding Warrior, and Innocence. And he has 50% uptime on 11 key and 50% uptime on 12 key. Supported defense of 120,540, which is not great, but okay. But his damage, his attack per turn, is 9,307,000. And 900, which is about once again, I would say 500,000, a little bit over 500,000 increase over number eight, which is the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So there you have it, number seven, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Now moving on to number six, we have the transforming Final Form Frieza, which becomes Angel Golden Frieza, and I'm pretty sure this calculation is. Uh, for the Angel Golden Frieza, uh, yes, here, here we go, 100% transformation uptime. So we're basically tra uh, calculating the uh, Angel Golden Frieza. The optimal team is Resurrected Warriors, 160% attack and defense because we have the uh, two different leads. And then average support of 26.67% attack and 30% defense. And we have Prodigies, Strongest Clan in Space, uh, universe's most malevolent, shocking speed, term of power, nightmare, and fierce battle with 100% uptime, and 15 crit and 11 additional in the hidden potential system, 100% transformation uptime. Um, again, so basically you're using Angel Golden Frieza, and the supported defense is 225,714, and supported APT is 9,336,945, which is very close, very, very close to Gotenks just uh, roughly 30,000 more. Now for number five on this list, we have the Int Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and his optimal team is Planetary Destruction slash Movie Bosses. Um, so 170% attack and defense, and the average support is 30% attack and 16.67% defense. And as far as links go, Super Saiyan, Heart and Grudge, Prepare for Battle, Saiyan Lineage, and Saiyan Warrior Race with 100% uptime and 66.67% for Fierce Battle, 15 additional 6 crit, 4.55% active skill uptime, very low because as you guys know it is 
pretty difficult to uh, get this active skill, you know, off within four to five turns. Usually it takes like six, seven, sometimes even eight or nine turns. 53% uh, facing pure Saiyan slash hybrid Saiyans and 193,608 supported defense before attacking and then 249,219 supported defense. And then we have supported APT of 10,612,191, a 1.3 million, approximately 1.3 million increase over number six, which is the uh, final form Frieza. So there you go, legendary Super Saiyan Broly, number five on the list. I would have expected him honestly to be a bit higher, but I think it's because of the way they're calculated, which is you know, 4.5 turns, if it was like longer, if they had done the calculation for like 6-7 turns, then I feel like Broly might be higher on this list, if not at the top of this list. But anyways, that's Broly number 5. Number 4, we have Super Saiyan 4 Broly from the Dragon Ball Heroes banner. I think some people might be a bit surprised just because he's not a Dokkan Fest unit. He wasn't like as hard to get as a lot of these other guys, but they made him really, really insane. They really did. So Tech Super Saiyan 4 Broly number 4, uh, optimal team is Dragon Ball Heroes, and we have 66.13% attack and defense average support, so that of course makes a big difference for his damage output. And he has 4 links that have 100% uptime, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, and we have 20 crit and 6 additional in the hidden potential system, and of course slot 2. Supported defense of 216,605, and supported attack per turn of 10,810,235, which is about 200,000 more than the Int Super Saiyan Broly. So, I mean, yeah, if you guys had run this guy or have run this guy on a Dragon Ball Heroes team um, or a crossover team with, um, you know, like max links at 100% in the hidden potential system. You'll understand why he, he is this high on the list because he's getting like over 5 million attack with up to like 3 supers. Wait, is it up to 4 supers actually? I forgot exactly how it works. I know he supers a lot though, so that's definitely the reason why he's so high on the list. Okay, number 3 is the Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten. So the EZAs that came with them are, you know, very high on the list. But these guys are even higher at number 3. Uh, optimal team is special post slash youth. 170% attack, 130% defense. Average support of 40% attack and defense. And we have 100% uptime on Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Budding Warrior, Innocence, and Kamehameha. 15 crit, 11 additional. Slot 1, 10.47% attack and defense from evading. And 84,804 supported defense before attacking. 199,965 supported defense after attacking and supported attack return of 11,090,087, roughly 200,000 or almost 300,000 more than the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Broly. So now we're getting to the last two. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. We have the EZA Fizz. Vegito Blue, who in my opinion is still a top 3 EZA in the game. We have a lot of good EZAs now, for sure, but he's still top 3 to me. And uh, yeah, he's top 2 on this list. His optimal team is Battle of Wits slash Majin Buu Saga, 170% attack and defense, average support of 10% attack and defense, and we have 100% uptime on Power Bestow by God, Fused Fighters, Orban of Flash, and Fierce Battle. 50% for Prepare for Battle, and 33.33% for Kamehameha and Super Saiyan, 11 additional and 15 crit in the Hidden Potential System, and he has 1.2 counters prior to attacking, 1.5 counters after attacking on average, moves between slot 1 and slot 2 for maximum counters, and 72,326 supported defense before attacking, 138,075 defense after attacking. And his supported attack return is 11,850,563, which is roughly 800,000 more than Super Saiyan Kid Goten and Super Saiyan Kid Trunks in the number three spot. And now it's time for number one, the hardest hitting TUR in the entire game. 
this might shock some people, uh, but others might have expected this because, um, you know, she's she's amazing. Like we've been saying this, and not everyone's listened, but the number one hardest hitting TUR in the game right now is STR Fidel, guys. And this is not a joke. Okay, this is this is real. On a Battle of Wits slash Modern Boo Saga team with average support of 40% attack and 60% defense with 15 additional, 11 crit, uh, 3 links with 100% uptime, Cold Judgment, Courage, and Fierce Battle, Slot 1, 33.33% short hair uptime, 47.5% chance to be attacked before attacking, 47.05% chance to evade before attacking, she has 208,376 supported defense before attacking, 349,342 supported defense after attacking, and a supported attack per turn of 16,776,658. Like, I honestly kind of have a hard time believing this is real, but it's real. It's real. Almost 5 million over Vegito Blue. At number two, we have number one, SDR Videl. So, I mean, this might change some minds, you know, for people who are considering skipping her when she drops on global. Um, I mean, if you don't like Videl, it's fine, right? Like, if you want to save your stones for a character that's more hyped to you, that's fine. But, yo, she's a monster. Uh, so if you want a unit that does a crazy amount of damage, literally the hardest hitting TUR in the game right now, she might be a tough skip. Of course, let me know in the comments down below if this was a shock to you, because it was definitely a bit of a shock to me. I knew she was going to be in the top 10. I did not expect her to be number one. Like, that is just crazy. Yo, I just realized they put, like, a forest fire in her background, uh, which makes sense, because she is absolutely destructive so that's totally fitting and uh yeah guys that is the top 10 list hope you guys enjoyed it shout out to kariru 2 trash guy bob and uh kamino segi for the calculations for the hard work as always and uh that's where we're gonna end today's video videl reign supreme and i don't see another unit or another TUR at least, uh, really dethroning her anytime soon. Maybe when Tech Vegito Blue gets an Extreme Z Awakening, he'll probably be able to uh, at least rival her a little bit, but that's just crazy, man. 5 million attack per turn more than Fizz Vegito Blue at number 2. Wow. Uh, yeah, guys, that is today's video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.